Almighty God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you on every occasion, in every condition for all things. For you have covered us, sister, preserved, accepted us, spared us, supported us, and brought us till this Let God make mercy and compassion upon us, hear us, sustain us, and continuously accept the prayers and supplications of His saints on our behalf, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and appeal to your goodness, a lover of man. That you grant us to conclude this blessed day and all the days of our life in peace and in your fear, all, all envy, all, all temptation, all the works of Satan, all intrigues of the wicked, rising even me seen and unseen, do cast away from us, from all your people, from this holy church that is yours, as for those things that would provide for us. For it is given us the power to tread upon servants, for the power of the enemy. <laughs> We praise you, bless you, serve you, worship you, confess you, proclaim your glory, and thank you for your great glory. O Lord, the heavenly King, God, the Father Almighty, and our Lord, the only Son, Jesus Christ, and the only Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. The right hand of the Father have mercy upon us. For you are the Holy, you are the Most High, my Lord Jesus Christ, of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to God, the Father, Amen. I give you blessing daily and praise your holy name forever and ever. Since the night, my spirit seeks you, only I will not speak. I mean, it's much. Continue to pursue you. I speak. Help to me. Early, my Lord, you should hear my voice when I stand before you. Shut me. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Most Most Lord of the Virgin, help me. See us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Most Most Lord, fight for us. I can be seen. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Most Lord, rest from the dead and sins. The heavens have mercy for us. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Never forget. I will treat you best. 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 I will treat you best.
Help St. Mary full of grace here, Virgin. Shere neoti parte lo siono e mila litini. Shere pshoshon se penge lo sari ekvone li nebelu il. Ti ho ariben me vioti e brostati se tenot narem ben shoi si sa zbechere sto sintifkene novi na nevon. Vene a melta filled with joy and our tongues with rejoicing. For our Lord Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. He has abolished death by his might and made life shine upon us. He is the one who has descended to the lower parts of the earth. The gatekeepers of hate saw him and were afraid. He abolished the pangs of death, for he was not held by them. He has crushed the gates of brass and broke the bars of iron and brought out he is chosen ones with rejoicing and with joy. He lifted them up with him into his place of rest and saved them for the sake of his name and revealed his power to them. Therefore we are rich with perfect good things and in faith we sing, saying Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Jesus Christ the King of glory is risen from the dead. This is he to whom the glory is due with his good Father and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Truly believe what God David the prophet and king, may his blessings with us all. I mean, then the Lord awoke as from sleep, like a mighty man who shouts because of wine, and he built his sanctuary like the highest, like the earth, established forever. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Lord God, Saviour and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, glory be to you forever. Amen. Very early in the morning on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen, and they said among themselves, who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us. But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, 
Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. Then you will see him, and he said, as he said to you. So they went out quickly and fled from the tomb. For they trembled and were amazed, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Now when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of who he cast seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept, and when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe him. Glory be to God. God the Father who has broken every bond of our sins through your saving life giving sufferings who breathed into the face of your holy disciples and sent the apostles saying to them receive the Holy Spirit who sins he remains are remitted to them and those which you retain they shall be retained through your holy apostles you all Lord, have given grace to those who are workers in the priesthood in your holy church to forgive sin on the earth and to bind and to lose every bond of iniquity. Now we also ask and teach you goodness, the love of mankind, for your servants, fathers, and my brethren, and my weakness. Those who bow their heads before your holy glory, grant us your mercy and lose in every bond of our sins. And if we have committed any sin against you knowingly or unknowingly, or through anguish of heart, or in deed, or in word, or from faint-heartedness. Do, O Master, who knows the weakness of men as a good and lover of mankind. O God, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Bless us, purify us, absorb us with all your people. Fill us with your fear and bestow us with your holy will. For you are our God, glory, honor, dominion, and adoration are due to you. Together with your good Father, the Holy Spirit, the life giver, who is consubstantial with you now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the King of Glory, has risen from the dead. So, the Lord, 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 the
Grant peace and edification to the Holy Universal and the Apostle Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who have offered these oblations and those on whose behalf they are offered and those who are presenting them. Grant to them all a heavenly reward. And be glad in it. Our Lord, save us, O Lord, is our praise. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed be his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Spirit, one is the Holy Spirit, Amen. Blessed be the Lord God forever, Amen. Praise the Lord, all nations, profess him, all his peoples. For strong is his mercy upon us, he is forever. Alleluia. Protected, assisted, preserved, accepted us, spared us, supported us, and brought us in this hour. Let us also ask Him, the Almighty God, to keep us in peace this blessed day and all the days of our life. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. We thank you on every 
occasion of a condition for all things. We have protected us, assisted, preserved, accepted us, spared us, supported us, and brought us in this hour. Let us pray that God may have mercy and compassion upon us, hear us, sustain us, and continuously accept the present supplications of His saints on our behalf, and make us worthy to partake of these holy sacraments for the forgiveness of our sins. Satan and tricks work is rising up when you see it and see it. Cast away from us, from your people, from this holy order and from this holy church of yours. Grant us the endowments and perfect given us the power to render our food, serpents, scorpions, and all the of the your servants, the ministers of this day, the Higmans, the priests, the deacons, the clergymen, the congregation, and my weak self, be absolved by the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the mouth of one holy, universal, and apostolic Orthodox Church. The Beholder of the Lord Evangelist, St. Mark the Apostle and Marty, St. Severus the Patriarch, Altis of Ioscoros, St. Athanasius the Apostolic, St. John Chrysostom, St. Cyril, St. Basil, St. Gregory, the 318 and similar Nicaea, the 150 Constantinople and 200 Ephesus, and from the mouth of our Honorable Blessed Father, the Papa Toedros II, his partner in the Apostolic Ministry, Bishop Daniel, from the mouth of Abun Yaub and Abun Jonathan, and my weak and abject soul, for blessed and glorious is your holy name, and Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, and forevermore. Amen. Forgiveness of our sins 
Through the prayers of my masters, the apostles, and disciples, our Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the prayers of the beholder of the Lord, even jealous mark, the apostle Through the prayers of the righteous, perfect saints, Joseph and Nicodemus and Mary Magdalene, Lord, Grant us the forgiveness of our sins Through the prayers of all the saints of this day Each one in his name o Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins through the prayers, O Lord, preserve the life of our Father, the honoured Pontiff of Atawadros, O Lord. Grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the prayers, the Lord, preserve the life of our Father, the honoured Bishop of Daniel. Forgiveness of our sins, we worship you, Christ, with your gracious Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have risen and served. the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. A reading from the first epistle of our teacher, Paul to the Corinthians, may his blessings be with us all, amen. But each one in his own order, Christ the first fruits, afterward those who are Christ at his coming. Then comes the end, when he delivers the kingdom of God the Father, when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. For he has put all things under his feet. But when he says all things are put under him, it is evident that all things under him is accepted. Now when all things are made subject to him, then the Son of himself will also be subject to him who put all things under him, that God may, may be all in all. Otherwise, what will they do who are baptized for the dead? If the dead are not rise, do not rise at all, why then are they baptized for the dead? And why do we stand in jeopardy every hour? I affirm by the boasting in which you have, in which, in you which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, I die daily. If in the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantage is it to me? If the dead do not rise, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Do not be deceived, evil company corrupts good habits. Awake to righteousness and do not sin, for some do not have the knowledge of your God. I speak this to your shame. As someone will say, how are the dead raising up, and, what, what, and with what body do they come? Foolish one, what you sow is not made alive unless it dies. And what you sow, you do not sow that, that body that shall be, but me grain, perhaps wheat or some other grain. But God gives it a body as he pleases, and to each seed its own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of animals, another of fish, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and terrestrial bodies. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. The body is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption. 
It is sown in dishonor and, is, and it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written. The first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a living, life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural, and afterward the spiritual. The first man was of the earth, made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As was a man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And, is the, and, and as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the, the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit in corruption. The grace of the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic epistle from, our, from the first epistle of our teacher, St. Peter, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, having a good conscience, that when they defame you as evildoers, those who revile your good conduct in Christ may be ashamed. For it is better, if it is the will of God, to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit, by whom also he went and preached to the spirits in prison, who formerly were disobedient, when once the divine long-suffering waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is eight souls, were saved through water. There is also an antitype which now saves us, baptism, not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers having been made subject to him. Therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same mind, for he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh for the lusts of men, but for the will of God. For we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles. When we walked in lewdness, lusts, drunkenness, revelries, drinking parties, and abominable idolatries. In regard to these things, they think it strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dissipation, speaking evil of you. They will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason the gospel was preached also to those who are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The world is passing away in its lust, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Amen. Hail to the resurrection of the one who redeemed us of A reading from the Acts of our Fathers, the pure Apostles, with the grace of the Holy Spirit, may its blessings be with us all. Amen. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man arrested by God to you, attested by God to you by miracles, wonders and signs which God did through him in your midst, as you yourselves also know. Him being delivered by the determined purpose and foreknowledge of God, you have taken by lawless hands, have crucified and put to death. Whom God raised up, having loosed the pain, pains of death, 
because it was not possible that he should be held by it. For David says concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is at my right hand that I may not be shaken. Therefore my heart rejoiced and my tongue was glad. Moreover, my flesh also will rest in hope, for you will not leave my soul in Hades, nor you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of joy in your presence. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. Come, all you heavenly that are watching, if you watched yesterday, Abun Augustinos said that we, if you have any icon at home, you can put flowers and bury the icon at home. So now it will be the time for the resurrection. So if you did that yesterday, you can get it ready now. Um, as Abuna uh, does the unveiling and the resurrection of the icon here in the church, you can do your own one at home. Follow along.
Este Resto
بزن Oh, 
Αγίος Εσχερός, Αγίος Αθανάτος, Αναστάσεκ των νεκρών, Ελέησον ημές Αγίος ο Θεός, Αγίος Εσχερός, Αγίος Αθανάτος, Αναστάς εκ των νεκρών, Ελέησον ημές, Αγίος ο Θεός, Αγίος εσχερός, Αγίος Αθανάτος, Αναστάς εκ των νεκρών, Ελέησον ημές, Δόξε με θρικαίω, Επί προσδοκής τα σύντε Ήρήνη πάση The Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who told his holy disciples and honored apostles and the prophets and righteous men, earnestly desired to see the things they were seeing, but they could not, and to hear the things they were listening to, but they could not. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they can see, your ears, for they hear. Grant that we become worthy and eligible to hear and act according to your holy gospel. Through the petitions of your saying, pray for the Holy Ghost. Remember all those who asked us to remember them in supplications and petitions that we offer up unto you, O Lord, our God. Grant repose to those who have preceded us in departure and heal those who are sick. For you who are the life of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Jesus Christ, King of glory, has risen from the dead on the third day. chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the evangelist, apostle, and pure disciple. May his blessing
from the Psalms of our teacher David, the prophet and the pure king. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I pray, O Lord. O Lord, I pray, send now prosperity. God is the Lord, and He has given us love. comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God, Saviour and the King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever. Amen. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early, while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. Then she ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciple, whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken away the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter therefore went out and the other disciple and were going to the tomb. So they both ran together and the other disciple outran Peter and came to the tomb first. And he stooping down and looking in saw the linen cloths lying there. Yet he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. And he saw the linen cloths lying there. And the handkerchief that had been around his head. Not lying with the linen cloths but folded together in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who came to the tomb first went in also, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture, that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciples went away again to their own homes. But Mary stood outside by the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she stood down and looked into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Then they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord and I do not know where they have laid him. Now when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? 
She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabboni, which is to say, Teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things to her. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Uh, happy Resurrection Feast to everyone. Uh, I'm going to pass to you the message from our Pope. And as we use here in the kids' church to ask questions and you get gifts, so let me do the same thing at home. And I know your mom and dad are ready to give you gifts. For the first one who answers the question, he's going to get a gift at home from mom and dad today which is different than the Easter gift, Jan. It's an extra gift for you if you answer the question. Anyone knows who is our Pope in Egypt? We have a Pope, which is a, a leader of our church. He prays for us, and he is always sending us lovely messages, especially for this feast. He sends a beautiful message for us. Anyone knows the name of the Pope? Pope? Yes, I can hear you. Pope Tawadros the second, and uh, I think... Uh, uh, Tadros put his picture here. This is Pope Tawadros II. He is in Egypt and he is the head of our church, after Jesus, of course. And he sent you a message together with Bishop. Who is the Bishop of Sydney? Bishop? Yes, I can hear you saying Bishop Daniel. He is the Bishop of Sydney. And both of them sent a message to us out of their love to share with us this beautiful feast. I'm going to summarize the message for from Pope Tawadros and from Bishop Daniel. It's a beautiful message. I really love the message very much. The message is saying Christian people should not fear. Christian people should not fear, should always have peace in their hearts. They are different. Maybe people around us can have fear, but Christian people shouldn't have fear. And when I asked why Christian people should not have fear, and they answer this question in three things. They said the story of Mary Magdalene one of the people who loved Jesus very much and followed Jesus always. And she had someone with her who is the sister of St. Mary. Sister of St. Mary is the auntie of Jesus Christ. So St. Mary Magdalene and sister of St. Mary went together to check the tomb of Jesus and they were extremely scared. And they were scared because just a few days before, two days before, they crucified the Lord Jesus Christ and the soldier was extremely harsh on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why they were scared. And three things happened that make them not scared at all. And uh, Pope Tawadros and Bishop Daniel, both of them tell us what are the three things. And I would like to listen to them as well. What are the three things that make them happy and joyful? The first one is an angel. Second one is the voice of Jesus. Third one, they saw Jesus. I'll say them again. First one was an angel. Second one was the voice of Jesus, and third one, they saw Jesus, and that's why they have a lot of peace in their hearts. And I would like to pass the message of Pope Tawadros and Amber Daniel today. It says that you have a guardian angel as he appeared to St. Mary to make her peace and happy. Every one of us has an angel beside him. It's called the guardian angel. And this guardian angel never leaves you. He's always around you, protecting you, so you should be happy 
relax, comforted that you have an angel around you. Second message that came from Pope Theodorus and Bishop Daniel, same message, which says, second one is Jesus spoke to St. Mary, to Mary Magdalene, and he told her, Mary, don't fear. He said that, Mary, don't fear. And once she listened to the voice of Jesus, she was very relaxed and happy. Where can we listen to the voice of Jesus from Sunday school, when Sunday school send us messages, and when they send us lessons, and when you hear a talk from Abuna, as now Abuna Mark is going to give us a talk, when we listen to those talk of Jesus through the mouth of Sunday school servant or from a Buddha, you have a lot of peace inside your heart. The third thing, third message they tell us to have peace and protection is to see the Lord Jesus Christ. Mary saw the Lord Jesus Christ, so she had a lot of peace inside her heart. How can we see Jesus? I'll tell you how. Every time you come to the kids at church like today, you'll find the church put a picture of either Jesus or one of the saints, but always we have a picture here. In this place, always when you come to church, you have a picture. So I would like you in your home to have a lot of peace, always in your room, have a picture of Jesus, and have a picture of one of the saints. Maybe Saint Mary, maybe Saint Mark, maybe Saint Juanna, the patron of this church, and maybe Saint Pocarollos, Saint Marimina, whoever you like to have a saint. But always in your room, I know that you are doing that. When I visit you in your home, and when uh, all the father, Abuna Ya'oub, Abuna Michael, Abuna Ostinos, Abuna Mark, Abuna David, Abuna Elijah, when they visit you, they always say that in the room of the kids, always there is picture of uh, Jesus and some of the saints. So I'll repeat again what Pope Tawadros and Amber Daniel send us, three reasons that we are always relaxed, happy, and peaceful. One of them is we have a guardian angel, Second one, we listen to the word of Jesus. Third one, we saw Jesus all the time in church and in our home. Glory be to God forever. Amen. Abuna Mark. Christos <laughs> Anesti. Can't hear you. Christos Anesti? You have to say it a bit louder because I'm in Ancliffe. You're not here. So say it loud so I can hear you. Christos Anesti? Ah, now I can hear all of you. It's lovely to talk to you and, and that you're with us today on this really uh, beautiful feast of the resurrection and where we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the most important feast we have in the church. And there's lots of nice things about this feast. So many things that we do that's so lovely and makes us happy. Um, and one of those things that I used to love when I was young, uh, and like I'm sure all of you, you love, is Easter eggs. I used to love getting Easter eggs and having chocolate, and I used to love that. Problem is, my parents were always so strict about how much chocolate I can have. They used to give me this, I'll show you. They used to say, Happy Easter, and give me this little egg. Ah, I want a big one. I want something more, a big one. And um, they said, no, it's got too much sugar, and you can't have that much sugar. It's not good for you, and it's all I used to get. So I said to myself, you know what? When I get older, when I become an adult, I'm going to search for the biggest Easter egg I can find. And I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to eat it. And no one can stop me. So today, I went and I searched for the biggest egg I could find. And I'll show you what I found. This is uh, the one I found. It's the biggest one. I said to the guy at the shop, give me the biggest Easter egg you've got. And he said, sir, this is the biggest one we've got. So I got it out. Show you guys. I'm going to eat this today. Wait, it's so big I can't even get it out. Here we go. Jimmy, can you push that down for me? Okay, beautiful. Look how big it is. Okay, there we go. Okay, keep me in that box, Jimmy. Yeah, we'll put that here like that. We'll show you how big it is. Ready? Look at that. This is the Easter egg I found today. And I'm just going to enjoy it today myself. You know, like, searching for this egg today reminded me of another search that took place 
2,000 years ago. And that search was when Mary Magdalene remembered how sweet it was to be with Jesus. And now he was crucified and put in the tomb and she missed him and she remembered the days when she was with Jesus and how sweet it was. And that's what I remember when I look at the, the eggs. Yeah, it's got a lot of sugar, but they're sweet. And that's what Mary Magdalene missed. She missed the sweetness of being with Jesus. There's a verse in the Bible that says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Jesus is so sweet and she searched for him. She, she remembered the sweetness and she searched for him. And I remember that when I look at eggs, and, and I remember that when I see the, the beautiful cellophane around it that just reminds me of its sweetness. And then she got there, if we, if we, if we open it up, ah, oh, look at that. When she got there, look at the color of the egg, it's dark. She actually searched for him early in the morning when it was still dark. She woke up early and she, she ran to the tomb. It was still dark. She was trying to find Jesus. And what did she do? She looked inside. She looked inside and he wasn't there. So she ran back to the disciples, to Peter and to John. And she said, the tomb is empty. The tomb is empty. And they ran with her to the tomb. And they wanted to see for themselves. They wanted to see if the tomb was empty. So they, they came and they ran. And what? look what happened. Oh my goodness, look at this. There's chickens in the tomb. Oh my goodness. There's life. There was life in the tomb. Could you look at that? There was life when they came. That yes, the tomb was empty. But that meant that there was life in the tomb. When we today are here celebrating Easter, we're remembering the sweetness of living with Jesus. We run to him early in the morning and we look inside the tomb. Yes, we find it empty, but we find life. That Jesus gave us life today. Happy Easter, everybody. Christos Anesti. God, the Father, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the Father, before all ages, light out of light, true God out of true God, begotten not made, coessential with the Father, through whom all things came into being. He descended from heaven for us and for our salvation, was incarnated of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary became man. He was crucified for us at the time of Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, arose from the dead on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to the heavens and sat down at the right hand of his Father. He shall also come back in his glory to judge the living and the dead, of whose kingdom there will not be an end. Truly we believe in the Holy Spirit, the life-giving Lord who proceeds from the Father. We worship and glorify him together with the Father and the Son, who spoke in the prophets and in one holy universal apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Ah, 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 forgive me,
Manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. You destroyed death, which was introduced into the world by the envy of the devil. You have filled the earth with heavenly peace, for which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. Good will to For the perfect peace, for love, and for the pure and apostolic. Says, Lord, have mercy. Of your goodness, O oh God, fill our hearts with you. Cleanse us from every loss, every deceit, every hypocrisy, every vile deed, and from every memory of evil and tailing death. Grant that we all, all become worthy to greet one another with a holy kiss, that through Jesus Christ our Lord we may share your immortal and heavenly gifts without falling into condemnation. Exchange a holy kiss with one another, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, hear us and have mercy upon us. Let us offer, let us offer, let us offer in order. Stand in reverence and look towards the east. Let us attend. Through the bleedings of the Mother of God, St. Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ. With your gracious Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have risen and saved us, the gift of peace, the sacrifice of upon the throne of his glory and his worship by all the holy power you seated stand up before whom stands the angels archangels the principalities the dominion the thrones the lordships and the power and look towards the east. Around you stands the full light cherubim and the six wings seraphim, praising you continuously without failing say. Let us attend. The cherubim worship you and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your holy
In the paradise of joy, when you broke your holy commandment through the serpent deceit, were deprived of eternal life and exiled from the paradise of joy. You did not entirely abandon us, but contacted us continually through your holy prophets. And finally, you appeared to us who are living in darkness and the shadow of death through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who is of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin, sent me. Total the ways of salvation. He granted us the grace of the rebirth from above through the water and the spirit. He made us a united people unto him and purified us through his Holy Spirit. He loved his own people of the world and for our salvation he gave himself up to death which he had possessed us whereby. We're bound and sold on account of our sins. He descended into heads through the cross. Amen. Send it to the heavens that sat at your right hand, O Father. He appointed a day for retribution when he shall appear to judge the word in equity and reward each one according to his deed. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not on account of our For us this great mystery of God Since he was determined to surrender himself up to death For the life of the world Truly we believe He took bread upon his pure, spotless, undefined blessed Life-giving hands. We believe that this is true. Amen. He looked up to his heaven to his father, master of all, and he gave thanks. Amen. He blessed him. Amen. He sanctified him. Amen. We believe, confess, and glorify you. He broke it and gave it to his holy disciples and pure apostles, saying, Take and eat with you all. For this is my body which is broken for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is true. Amen. Likewise, the cup of the supper, I mix it with wine and water, and he gives thanks. Amen. He bless thee. Amen. He sanctified it. Amen. Again we believe, confess, and glorify. He tasted and gave it to his holy disciple, and we propose the saying, Take and drink with you all. For this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many. 
to be given for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is also true indeed. For every time you shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you preach my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me till I come. Amen, 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 we preach your death, O Lord, your holy resurrection and ascension we profess, we praise you. Commemorate his holy passion, his resurrection, ascension, of the in sitting at your right hand, O Father, second coming from heaven, awesome and glorious. We offer you these oblations for much use in every occasion, every condition, and for all, all things. Attend to the Lord in awe and reverence. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, O Lord, and we worship. And this bread he makes in his holy body. We believe. Amen. And the shell is too into the honored blood of the new covenant. We believe to Amen. Everlasting life to those who partake of him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Make us with you, our Master, to thank you for your holies, for the purification of our sins, souls, bodies, and spirits, that we become one body and one spirit, and may share the inheritance of all the saints who have pleased you ever since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. Lord, have mercy. In this which you have bought with the honored blood of your Christ, preserve her in peace, and all the Orthodox bishops in her in the first place. Remember, O Lord, our honored Father, Father, to Adros the second, and his partner in the apostolic ministry, our bishop, Amber Daniel. Lord, have mercy. As well as those who rightly disclose with them the word of truth, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Higamans, priests, and deacons. Lord, have mercy. And for all the ministers and those who live in virginity and the purity of your faithful people, remember, O Lord, have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father Almighty. Remember, O Lord, the safety of this, your holy church, and all the churches, all the monasteries of our Orthodox fathers, and for those who are in God's faith. Grace your court, O Lord, the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the winds, the rains, the waters, the rivers this year, bless them. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Bring them to their measure according to your grace, they may be ready for seeding and harvesting according to your Lord, a cheerful touch unto the earth. Water it and dispose, our life is deemed fit. Grant this here with your goodness for the sake of the poor, of your people. The widow, the orphan, the stranger, and for our sake, for our eyes are focused upon you, our hope, and we seek your holy name. Deal us according to your goodness, are you the feet of everybody, fill our hearts. With joy and grace, though a sufficiency of all things and may grow in every good day. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who put unto you these oblations, those on whose behalf they are offered, and those who are presenting them. Grant them all the heavenly reward. Pray for.
for the sacred and worthy oblations and the sacrifices and for those who offer them. Lord, have mercy. We agreed by your only begotten Son, O Lord, we ought to take part in the commemoration of your saints. Grace, remember, O Lord, of the saints who have pleased you ever since the beginning, our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the righteous people who perfected their faith in the first place, the ever-virgin, the mother of God, the all-glorified, pure Saint Mary, who gave birth to God, the true word. Therefore, honor Saint John the Baptist and Marty, the Archdeacon of First Marty, Saint Stephen, the beholder of God, the pure apostle, Saint Mark the Evangelist and Martyr, Saint Severus the Patriarch, Altitudius Chorus, the Apostolic Saint Athanasius, Saint Peter the Pontiff and Martyr, and Saint John Chrysostom, and the whole host of your saints, through whose prayers and supplications have mercy upon us all and save us for the sake of your holy name that is called upon us. Let the readers name our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have departed, may the Lord grant repose to their souls, and forgive us our sins. May their holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Glory be to you, O Lord. Glory be to you, O Lord. Lord. to the souls of those who have passed over to you in the paradise of joy, in the land of eternal living, in the heavenly Jerusalem, and we too, who for us in this world, preserve us in your peace, till the end. As it was, so shall it be, from generations to generation and forevermore Amen Guide us into your kingdom that your great and holy name be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed Jesus Christ your beloved Son and the Holy Spirit, peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Pal in on mar in shebe mot and tot fem if not, you want to crator. Fiot and when choice open not, you want satire so as be a Christus. We ask, consider us worthy to stand in His holy place, raise our hands and serve His holy name. We ask Him to make us worthy to offer this divine and immortal mystery. Amen. The holy body. We worship Your holy body. Belonging to 
in this Christ the Almighty, our God. Amen, amen, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Oh, our Master, Lord, the Almighty God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who descended into hell through the cross to bring back our father Adam and his sons to paradise. You buried us with him, and on the third day you arose again from the dead. Christ is risen from. And said to her, Go tell my brethren to go to Galilee, there they shall see me. Michael, thy king, descended from heaven and rolled away the stone from the entrance to him and to proclaim the good news to the women carrying the spices, saying, Je Christus anesti, ek nekron, alitos anesti. You crushed the death to your death and granted eternal life to those who were lying in graves. You pressed down to the holy disciple and pure apostle, saying, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins are you forgive, they are forgiven. And for those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Therefore, I ask you, our Master, pure fast from Every hypocrisy so that with a pure heart we may dare to call upon you, our Heavenly Father, and say, Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for every moment. People, blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of our God, sanctification by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Body and on our blood of Jesus Christ, Son of our God. Amen. Amen. 
Agion Timion Somakai Badi Sinone So Christo Toyo To Theoimon Amin Dabodi and blood of Manuel our God, this is true. Amen. Amen. We believe. Amen. 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 I believe. I believe. I believe and profess unto my last rest that this is the life giving body which your only begotten Son, our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, took of our Lady, Queen of us all, Mother of God, Pius Saint Mary, and made it one with his divinity, right, mingling, and right, changing, right, alteration, and declared a proper confession by Pontius Pilate, and give it up willingly on our cross on our behalf. I believe that his divinity never departed his humanity, not even a single innocent a twinkle of an eye, given for salvation, remission of sin, the eternal life to those of what they go in. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Pray for us and for the Christians who asked us to remember them in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Sing a psalm, alleluia. Pray for the merit of partaking of these holy, pure, and heavenly mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Yeah. 